Hi guys, this is Silverwolf, and I guess you might call this uh, sort of like a Hatchimals evolution video because we're going to be looking through the original Hatchimals all the way up to Hatchimals WoW. Now, I have missed out a few along the way, like for example the ones that hatched from the eggs as twins and things like that. I got back into Hatchimals with the Hatch Babies and the request to do an unboxing of one, um, and I found that Hatchimals have come a long way since the very original ones. Now we've got the original one here, this is Kevin. Now the original Hatchimals took a long time to hatch, they did. It, uh, it took me like an hour to hatch this guy and even then he needed help. So you had the Draggles, which is what he is, and I think you had like penguin ones as well. I'm really not very good in the whole memory kind of uh, thing, you know, department. But what you got from the egg was basically this cute, fluffy, very, very soft little bird uh, crossed with a dragon. And his wings moved, and he's got wheels underneath so he can roll around, and his eyes light up. So that's the original Hatchimals. Flash forward a bit to Hatchy Babies. Now Hatchy Babies are, this is a chi tree, which is a cross between a cheetah and a bird. And he's got a little nappy on, and they did... Um, they did quite a few upgrades and improvements to these ones. For a start off, they don't take so long to hatch. Uh, the hatching process was perhaps the most fun, I think, of all of them. They still had the sort of realistic hatching process the originals had, but they cut the hatching time right down. So basically, the egg just popped open pretty much, but he still kind of made his way out of the egg as a real bird would. He's got several different uh, parts to him. There's several sensors. The original one, he just had the head sensor and tummy sensor. This one's got the forehead sensor, back of the head. He's got foot sensors as well. And I believe he's got a tummy sensor too. Uh, he also has a beak that opens and closes. And he came with a variety of accessories that you could play with him with. So he also wobbles as well, which is quite cute. He's got a little bottle. He's got a little bird which looks a bit like Kevin, a uh, little rattle and a brush so you can brush him. So he was really interactive with lots of things you could do with him and you could also take care of him as well when he hatched which was a really nice idea. I like how they how they went with that one. Um, most recently the Hatchimals Hatchy Wow. The Hatchy Wow is a Lala Corn as we know from the previous videos, Llama Cross with the Unicorn. It stretches to a height of around three feet and it comes with this accessory here, which is a bit of fruit filled with glitter. Um, the, the biggest, as you can see, the biggest of all of them. Um, I'll move the camera up slightly to get our horn in there. I've decided to call her Strawberry because it's a cute name. So we've got Kevin, Cobalt Stargazer and Strawberry. It's a cute name and it's easy to remember and I think it suits her. So um, I think one of you guys did suggest Strawberry, so thank you for that. Uh, so, like I said, this is pretty much the evolution. They have kind of got bigger really, really quickly. That escalated quickly, as you can see there. Um, they are all made of extremely soft material. I don't know who is the softest. I think they're all about the same, to be fair, but the, the Lala Corn does have longer fur. And she's also got a different type of fur down here where her feet are. Um, her points of uh, interaction are her forehead, her tummy and her back of her head. Um, she has light up eyes as well like the others. The eyes are all very similar actually. They've used the same sort of design with the eyes all the way through. And she does have foot sensors as well. So this is the evolution of Hatchimals. How they started out in 2016 and how they are now. So uh, I thought I'd just show you guys a nice little comparison video. If you want to see more Hatchimal videos, you can click any of the boxes that come up below. And also, if you want to buy Silverby merchandise, which is my Furby character, you can check it out at my Teespring and Redbubble stores. Links are in the description. So I hope you all have a great weekend, and this is Silverwolf signing off.